Well, let's get reaction to Turkey's GDP numbers. Christian Keller's Barclays Capital's chief economist for Emerging Europe. Thank you so much, Christian, for joining us today. Wow, what an incredible number. Can this be sustained or are you concerned about inflation and actually the fact that they still need to keep things under control? Good morning. Yeah. Well, it is an incredible number, but it was largely expected, right? I mean, consensus was 11.5. I mean, I thought it could have been even uh, grows up to 13 percent. 11.7, therefore, is, is much in uh, um, very much uh, in line with consensus. As we heard in the in the report, also, you know, we, that comes on back of a contraction in the first quarter last year of minus 14.5 percent. So. You know, this is, um, it's good news. I think it is expected news. I think Turkey is, uh, you know, in the region, in a way, a bright star. It's the only country where we see something of a V-shaped recovery, really like in Asia, rather than the, the kind of long drawn out views we see in, the, in, the, in emerging Europe, you know, closer to the Eurozone. What's your um, main concern, though, the, the Christian? Because, of course, Turkey has been wanting to join the Eurozone for quite some time. It doesn't look like it's going to any time soon. There's still French resistance. And at the same time, although the economy seems healthier, uh, there's concern over, for example, inflation slowing. Yeah, I mean, you, you, uh, you uh, emphasize the right point. I think there are two concerns. The one is obviously inflation. I mean, Turkey does run higher inflation in a way traditionally than the rest. However, uh, recent news were actually quite positive. Inflation uh, in prints in May were much more positive. We saw a central bank minutes from their June meeting released yesterday. Very uh, a dovish outlook, uh, not so much concerned about food price inflation, energy prices, which are the main drivers of inflation in Turkey. So you could say that at the moment, at least, we're a bit in a sweet spot where growth is relatively good and for Turkish standards, inflation is also relatively uh, benign. I think the current account now will be on, on people's minds. You know, we saw a more rapid widening of the current account deficit in the first five months of the year than than we had expected earlier. And you know, this is, in a way, a reflection and of the strong growth. Christian, talk to me about actually the, the risks really in this economy and why you say it's safer to her hold Turkish bonds uh, and, and Forex unhedged. Well, I mean, um, it's, it's based on, you know, well, first of all, the, the strong GDP number seems to say, well, under inflation risks. But uh, if we look at it, um, you know, from the recent developments, it seems that uh, the chances are very good that the central bank will actually stay on hold. You know, growth will taper off. We will see weaker numbers. If we seasonally adjust some of the quarter and quarter and month and month numbers, we already can see that the economy is slowing down. The output gap should be substantially large. And so, you know, with prospects for no rate hikes, in addition... And Christian, uh, yeah. actually on that growth, now you're expecting 4% next year from 117 today to, to 4% for 2011. That's quite a gap. Yeah, no, but, yeah, um, you know, for sure. But, uh, you know, this is annual growth. So we're expecting about, uh, you know, slightly over 6% for this year and then 4% next year. So, you know, yeah, it is base effects. I mean, you just look at the, you know, look at the deep, very deep dive we took last year. Um, you know, and, and now rates are very high, 11.7 percent. It will come down on a year-on-year -year basis in the rest of the year. I think the path is actually uh, not that, uh, um, uh, you know, not that unusual. You know, the, after such a deep recession, you will see a rebound and then a moderation. Uh, Christian, your chief economist for emerging markets, talk me through some of your, your favorite countries, as it were. Does Turkey come up Trump's? Yeah, I mean, definitely. As I said, in our region, I mean, Turkey looks one of the countries that, uh, you know, not only from economic growth perspective, but also from a financial stability perspective, looks like one of the safer ones, uh, you know, given that, you know, leverage ratios in the banking system are much lower than elsewhere. Households are actually long foreign currency because they're very large. Uh, foreign currency savings in the domestic banking system. That's the opposite to the rest of emerging Europe, where households yeah. typically have large, you know, foreign currency borrowings in terms of Christian, mortgages. Thank you so much. Great to speak to you. Christian Keller there from Barclays Capital.